Major developments today in the Ukraine crisis as Russian President Vladimir Putin formally recognized two pro-Russian regions of eastern Ukraine as independent states. The move is broadly seen as a sharp escalation that could be a precursor to Russia invading Ukraine. Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. Good afternoon, Sheba. The White House moved quickly, saying that President Biden would sign an executive order barring any new investment or trade in these breakaway regions and saying that Russia has blatantly violated its international commitments. In a move many experts see as a potential trigger for further violence, Russian President Vladimir Putin today recognizing as independent two breakaway regions in eastern Ukraine, where Russia has been backing separatist fighters since 2014 and where shelling has spiked in recent days. I think if we're, he's going to recognize them, uh, that could be the first step toward a full annexation. Uh, I think that will precipitate uh, military uh, engagement between the Ukrainian and Russian forces, leading to, I think, a, maybe a, a full-scale war. Amid U.S. warnings that Russia is trying to manufacture an excuse to invade Ukraine, Russian separatists now claim Ukrainian forces have launched an unprovoked attack against them. Claims Ukraine and the West sharply deny. President Biden's national security advisors assembling at the White House today after NBC News confirmed that U.S. intelligence shows President Putin has already given the order to invade Ukraine. Any military operation of the size, scope and magnitude of what we believe the Russians are planning will be extremely violent. It will cost the lives of Ukrainians and Russians, civilians and military personnel alike. This is a day. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky convening his own Security Council today after publicly admonishing Western leaders, urging stronger action to head off a Russian invasion that could send damaging ripples across the world.